Shanghai, considered the heart of China's financial sector, rarely stops beating. Yet the streets are eerily quiet. 26 million residents are stuck at home, waiting for updates from the robot dogs now being used to share public health information. Yeah, it's a very strict lockdown. In fact, I've seen people calling it um, one of the strictest lockdowns in the world. Uh, we're not allowed to leave home at all. All public transport has been cancelled. Um, you're not even allowed to leave the front door. China has frequently implemented strict lockdowns to control the spread of COVID-19. There are currently 23 cities under full or partial lockdown as China continues to strive to completely eradicate the virus, an all-encompassing strategy known as COVID-0 one New Zealand gave up on last fall. Epidemiologists now argue vaccines and mask mandates are more effective. I don't think at this point, uh, in fact at any point, long-term lockdown is really the answer to, you know, to, to responding to COVID-19. Chinese officials, however, say they are unwavering in their goal. A small army of health officials was brought in to test nearly all Shanghai residents. And while over 20,000 asymptomatic cases were caught, symptomatic cases numbered under 700. People, I don't think, are worried in China and in Shanghai about the COVID itself. And um, they're more worried, I think, about catching it because of the hassle that it will cause. Because, of course, in China, uh, anyone who tests positive needs to go into central quarantine. The strain of the lockdown is starting to show with a rise in social media complaints, putting into question how long the current strategy is sustainable. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.